You gonna find it, cause hey y'all. Hi. <laughs> we late, but we here. I just heck it. I got a new light, y'all. So I'm trying. I can't hardly see. But we're already running late, so we're just gonna jump right into it, and we're gonna save the video, and we're gonna put it on IGTV. So, um, first, um, let me give my friend Donda an opportunity to introduce herself to you guys. Go ahead, Donda. Hi, everybody. My name is Donda. Donda be the stylist. So happy to be here with Diamond today. Um, talking about fashion. So let's just get started. Excuse my. Can y'all see him? I hope not. But um, <laughs> so it's Man Fashion Monday in the world of Oxy, and um, of course I always try to do different men features, whether it be fashion, um, or you know stuff of my own um and a topic that i was sharing with donna before we logged on was j cole's spread so i had my reservations about it um to me i feel like it was half <laughs> it was half executed <laughs> like half had executed the, yeah, <laughs> like the concepts were definitely there like i saw where he was going with it but it would be like one something in a picture that wouldn't just like gravitate let's let's see what it is because i haven't had a chance to look at it yet so let's pull it up okay okay pull it up. let me see let's pull it up go to let's search for j cole because i want to see exactly what diamond is saying and by the way i love j cole Fet i Bill. am in love with shout him. out to fat now i am um, trying to link up with him so I can give him one of these positive expression t-shirts. Okay, that part. <laughs> so this is the first one. Y'all, I'm trying to show her. Okay. That's the first one, but you can't see the whole thing. These are the different looks. Okay. So, I like the concept far as... I just want to make sure I'm not tripping. I like the forest with the, with the piano, the different shades of um, orange... Hmm. I probably wouldn't have chose that look for the forest. I, I just would... feel like. Go ahead. <laughs> Could have chose me for the stylist, but okay. That's what I said. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one, Diamond. Um, and I don't like that picture. Reason being is I went on another page and saw that those were suspenders, but I can't even see the suspenders there. So if you're gonna do a look. Like, whoever the photographer was. At this point, I don't know if it's a stylist issue or a photographer issue. But, I couldn't see the suspenders. And that brought it together. The suspenders. I could Like, I was like, oh. So, I, I would have did, if I was there on set, what I would have did. As a stylist. As a stylist. He would have just been standing on the back of his truck with the back out. Or whatever, so you can see his probably feet kicking or something. Yeah, like, cause he a country boy. He, he a country, country boy. We get what y'all was trying to do here. Definitely, but definitely the next one. Where is his shoes? <laughs> I just feel I, I get it, but I just feel like every picture needs to capture the look. Every picture. Okay. Cause this is what GQ is featuring on their spread. So for some people, this is all they have to look at. Which one is your favorite? Keep, keep going, keep going. Uh oh, yep. My favorite is on GQ. That's the point I'm making. So what I saw was a different picture. Let me see. Let's I'm gonna just. Out. Me personally, I'm sorry. As much as we love J Cole, he should have let it be a Donza B or an oxymoron experience. Period. I would have kind of took it. Probably to another level in regards to, I don't think the color palette was there. I really don't think the color palette was there. However, I love J. Cole. Um, I don't know. 
I don't know. Um, but that's that, guys. You know, I just wanted, from a stylist perspective, I just wanted to share that little, you know, piece. I like the sweater. I'm trying to find. Then I was kind of looking at his shoes on the truck. I almost thought they were Crocs. Child, and it's not until this video you can see all like some of it. I don't know. I like that shirt. See the suspense. Yeah. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> the point, <laughs> y'all get the point. <laughs> um, but to segue into that, I just wanted to also. So here's the thing about stylists. Some of us are very um quiet. We only perform in our zones. Um, some are introverts. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> so I'm both ends of the spectrum. Like I'm very chill and reserved when I want to be, but I'm completely all over the place in other ways. So Donda is one of those kind of like introverts. So we discussed a few months ago, you know, what we could get from one another. And she was telling me that she enjoyed how I did like lives and how, you know, bold I was about, you know, logging on and doing it. So I said, well, hey, how about you conquer your fear and jump on there with me? Because I wanted to do a collab with her. And she was like, okay, sounds cool. So it's also fitting that we're doing it on Men's Fashion Monday because she has a vision that she's been praying about and you know thinking about and she's now getting the things together so that she can execute and i'm going to give her an opportunity to share that as well all right you guys so i am really big on african-american men so much that you know i have a brother that i love dearly well i have two brothers i love dearly and i really think you know they go through a lot of challenges in life so you know we always focus on how little girls and you know doing things for the little girls and I love that I love being a female but I feel sometimes we leave our little boys out so you know everybody has different styles so I want to put on a fashion show in Raleigh North Carolina to basically feature males all uh, all male fashion show from our male youth to our older males and just express the fashion like you don't have to wear your pants down here or you know one thing that i see that a lot of guys do they don't like to express themselves when it comes down to fashion they think oh they like to wear baggy clothes for instance that is a no-no am i right they try too hard to make sure that they don't look like homosexuals. Right. And it's not really about looking homosexual. It's more about having a fitted look. And there's nothing, nothing wrong, wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, something else I've been noticing that, guys, your outfits are completely perfect, but the shoes. <laughs> that's it's all one, about the shoes. Like, one <laughs> thing that women look at is shoes. I look at everything. It's shoes. My first thing is shoes. My mom told me to look at people's shoes to let. What is that about them? Like, why? Why do? Because <laughs> I mean, there's multi-millionaires that wear brand down shoes, so it can't be about where they are in life or you it's know. It's traditional. I know it is for me, but shoes and fingernails. Like I'm really mm, big on you that. You right about. I'm really big on that. So that's like two of the first things that I'm looking at. But back to the fashion show. So um, it's going to be called A Culture of Kings. So we're going to have our small youth to our older men um, ripping the runway. We're going to have like street styles. We're going to have styles as mixed. Something that Diamond does that I love it. Um, I'm going to have her in charge of the streetwear mixed with sexy and classy oxymoron yeah totally I, I like <laughs> it so i'm excited about it you guys so you can catch more um on my page down to be the fashion stylist i'm gonna put out um some information about it put a flyer out i will be doing a um casting call for my males in raleigh and in charlotte very soon um so definitely stay tuned for that. 
So guys, if you know anybody who's a bomb model, um, let Donda know. Let me know. Um, I have her on my stuff, but um, if you need her handle, it'll be shown in the IG story. So make sure you guys are paying attention to what I post, not only on my feed, but in my story as well. Um, and as she prepares and gets closer to the event, I'm going to be making sure that I'm pushing it as well. So you guys stay tuned for that. Yes, support, support. Support. support small <laughs> black businesses please. you guys please and since we're here and we're both ambassadors of star diaz shout out to star diaz she has a accessory line um donda shows off the fold overs i have the clutches and um she has these cards now that is like a great way to show off how the tassel earrings look on you i'm not a tassel of wasn't it bomb? The car that was so bomb. And that's my best friend, by the way. She's <laughs> killing it right now. She like, is. Now, dude. just to put a pin in there, she's a bomb clothing designer. But we won't talk about that. She enjoys, <laughs> she enjoys making accessories. And at the end of the day, I get it. Because we all might have things that we're awesome at. But if that's not what we're, you know, adamantly passionate about, no matter what anybody says, we're not going to do it. So... Shout out to Star for doing what she does. She's a small business. And again, you guys make sure y'all check her out. Yes. Please. It looks Please. like I see comments, but y'all, this light is killing me. So I'm going to get close. So excuse whatever flaws you might come across when you see. <laughs> All right. The questions. My cousin said, well, my young man. What would you say? Because Yolanda, hey. Hey, Hi. Sham. Hi, Sham. Well, um, oh, cuz the to, um, model. Yeah, get him. You know, my cousin also has the line, too. Mm -hmm. I forgot what his was, um, but he also has something, too. So, you know, in the community, like, instead of getting your Gucci and no shade, but I love the name brand. And I'm not a fan of it. So, I mean, for me, make sure you're supporting your local businesses. Definitely. Do you have a hood and chic shirt? Have you placed your order? And have you allowed me to style you? Whether it's from a photo shoot, whether it's from a music video, whether um, oh yeah, I'm being creative on a set for you for a fashion show, please contact me. Yeah. And you know what? I also did want to um, let you talk about that. So... If you go to Donna's page, you'll see that she has some recent work from over the weekend. She worked on her birthday. <laughs> and anybody who knows Di. Because <laughs> I, I thought know. about doing a fashion show for my birthday and it started getting stressful. <laughs> you know, I canceled that junk. What, last year? Yeah. Yeah. No, she ain't doing it. But um, <laughs> Donna did it and it was bomb. So a thing that I wanted to point out with you, and that's why I wanted you to see the J. Cole spread. Right. Because I'm real urban chic. That's me. But you tap into something else, which I've always admired. Because it's like, dang, I would have never like even did that. But with you, it seems like it's more than clothing. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, whose idea was that nose ring thing? Mine. That's what I'm saying. So, it's about the accessories. Now, now granted, I'm an accessories person too. You know what I'm saying? And a, and a shoe person. But it's the extra stuff. Even like down to the makeup, you be coming up with that stuff too, right? I did come up with the concept, but I definitely want to give a shout out to Keisha Boyd. I mean, the girl is crazy. Please go look her up. Um, What's her Instagram name? Um, Keisha Boyd. Oh. Keisha Boyd. Oh. Um, the director of the trailer for the music is Andre Baldwin out of Fayetteville, North Carolina. I love him. He is amazing. The cast was wonderful. Philip Owens. Oh, this was a movie thing you were talking it's about? It's a trailer. We're trying to get some things rolling, you know. Yeah, I can't really speak about it, but... It's fine. Or, yeah. But, um, and honestly, you guys, I just love being creative. I don't care what's going on. I'll even talk about the vision for one of the females. The thing I wanted to do, I wanted to do... A face chain for her because it represented black love I couldn't find it 
So what I did was Ooh. broke my earrings apart and placed it in her head. The ear chain that connected from her nose to her Ooh, ear. So we could put it up to the camera so the people can oh, okay. see. Um, was a bracelet. So it's all about thinking outside the box when you're on That was set. awesome. That was awesome. You know, the her pieces of her garments were just rags that we got from That's what I was gonna ask you was yeah, just fabric. It was just fabric and I just tied them together. So you didn't even buy that from anywhere? No. You put it together and and you create that vision. When you don't have the necessities around the you, finances. you use what you have because mm-hmm. some budgets are a thousand dollars and then you have some budgets that's fifty dollars and if you choose down to be the fashion stylist i don't care if your budget is twenty dollars we we about to go to dollar tree or something <laughs> that's your budget i'm gonna make it happen so i love working with people i love being creative i love working with other stylists good people like um diamond and um just you know, just let me know if you have any questions in regards to like creating a vision. Just let me know. Inbox me. The picture. Oh, okay. Yes, we will. The one with the nose ring, like the up close, so they can see. Pardon. Now that we know that it was a broken ring and a chain and a and a this and a that. <clears throat> yeah, I see. Crazy, right? Yeah, so y'all check her out. Yeah, she's doing some dope things. That gave yeah. me Caesar. I mean, yeah. I know it's for black. You know what I'm saying? But that gave me Caesar, and I felt like that was so dope. Thank you. So Thank yeah, you. um, just make sure you stay tuned, cause we got some big old crazy stuff happening around us. Um, I got some stuff that I'm working on. I love I love hood chic. I'm going to put in my order tonight. I'm going to just cash at you Dope. while I'm here. Dope. I love that shirt. Because it definitely represents me. I'm from Fair Bluff, North Carolina. We don't even know what that is. So that it's sounds right. right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's 20, about 45 minutes from Lumberton, North Carolina. Oh, okay, the 910. 910. So I'm from Fair Bluff, North Carolina. You know, you might be on the block. But I'm on the block with some pearls on, okay? You see the necklace? That's hood and Statement sheet. piece, basically. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. I got some um, stuff coming up, like, with Donda. Um, and I think I'm going to relaunch Dyer's Closet. I don't know if that's a relaunch or not, because I never really stopped. But it's like, I just be having a lot, you know, going on that I'm thinking about. Um, I think you should. Matter of fact, I got a pair of shoes that I wanted to show you from Dyer's Closet. But yeah, mm. can it be casual, girl? We ain't gonna put that on the on the internet. Okay then. But <laughs> thank you guys, for, <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> Give us feedback. Um, we appreciate you for watching, and I do plan on saving this video. Yes. And fingers crossed. I can't remember from the last time when me and Shamara went live what the complication was. I'm not sure if I can put it on IGTV or not. But we will see. Thanks for tuning in. Happy Monday. Thanks for having me. No problem, girl. Bye, y'all.